Jesus is coming, the Bible tells me so. nothing like being ready is there i'm telling you when it's time to go to the event or time to go to church or time uh time to go to dinner meet somebody and to be ready i found myself so many times when i when it was time to be there and i wasn't quite ready to even leave and start there yet and uh, that's a that's a that's a pretty stressful type thing we can we can impose on ourselves because we get busy and lose track of time but we don't want to miss heaven. So I hope you're already ready, ready right now. And uh, that good song, that was his own singing and a fine group uh, there, a fine family. And uh, again, singing with, uh, with uh, a CD from Faith Music Missions. And I uh, hope you'll check those folks out real soon. Well, this, this week we've been talking about where can you find rest? Where can you find rest? So many people are so stressed and going, going off, getting on the horse, riding off in all directions and trying to accomplish uh, maybe more than they, uh, than they set out to do. It, it, the, the, the job grew uh, faster than they realized it was going to. And just uh, out of energy, out of time. Uh, out of out of motivation sometimes you say if I could just rest if I could just get some rest well our theme verse this week is found in Matthew chapter 11 and verses 28 through 30 and listen what it says it says come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest there you go Lord said come to me I'll give you rest now Obviously, he's talking about the lost people coming to him for salvation. But what about us Christians? Don't don't we sometimes get out of whack and get running behind and a, and too much uh, month at the end of the money and all kinds of other things? And uh, and we're thinking, man, how can I get it done, Lord? I need your help. And right there, we're on the path to getting the problem solved. The moment we turn to the Lord. And ask him. He can help us sort things out. He can help us put, get all of our ducks in a row. I used to say, somebody says, preacher, what are you doing in there? I'd say, I'm trying to get my duck in a row. You know, that kind of thing. Try, just, just trying to get my life organized where I can finish uh, at a reasonable time and have a little bit of time extra, maybe for family time or just for rest, just to relax, just to do some recreational reading or, or whatever else. But he said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We talked about on Tuesday how you can find rest and salvation. Today, I want you to think with me about this. We can find rest. Now, this one is really hard to figure out now. We can find rest 
in our sleep, in our sleep. You see, I think a lot of times people don't even have restful sleep because they're, they're so stoked up with, with so many things on their mind and they just can't let it go. And, they, and, and I've been there. I, I mean, I know what I'm talking about because I've been there myself where I have deadlines coming and, uh, and, and knowing that, boy, I've got to meet this deadline. I've got to get it done. I've got to raise the funds. We've got to, we've got to be in the building by this time. We, we've got to, I, I've got to... I, just whatever it is. And now the clock is ticking and the calendar pages are turning and, and, and I don't have time to rest. I don't have time. I can't sit down. I, I've got to be busy. And some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you put in those 50, 60, 70 hour weeks and, and still feel like, man, I just can't get it done. Or if I thought I had it done, then somebody's not happy with the way I did it. I, I, I'm afraid I'm not, I can't please everybody. That, that kind of thing. And then, and then the stress is on and everything else. So we need to find that rest that we can find in our sleep where we can just lay down, let your body, let your body just relax and let the, let the Lord minister to you even in your sleep and take care of you. This is what he said in Psalm number four and verse number eight, Psalm number four and verse number eight. This, this is what the Lord said. I will both lay, and the Lord wrote through the King David. He said, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Isn't that something? He said, he said, you know, David, he always had some enemies. He always, remember King Saul always was trying to kill him and other people, uh, other nations after him. And, and even his own children turned against him. Uh, his, especially the one son, Absalom, tried to overthrow him, wanted to kill his own dad, take over to be the king. And he said this, he said, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep for thou, Lord, only makest me to dwell in safety. He said, I know this. I know my body can only do so much. I know I need some rest. I know I need some sleep. So what I'm going to do, God, I, all these things are coming against me, but what I'm going to do is lay down and take a nap. I, I'm going to lay down and rest, get the rest that I need so that I can continue the work and do it well. And I know you are my safety. Lord, you're my, yeah, I'm, I know you're the one that causes me to dwell in safety and I'm going to trust you with it. Well, wouldn't it be good if we could just trust the Lord? Proverbs chapter three, five and six, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct thy paths. He shall direct thy paths. Psalm number 37, verse number 40. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. You know, sometimes we get bad news from a far country. We, we hear about difficult situations and boy, our mind's just going crazy and you lay there in bed and you're wide awake and you can't sleep or you wake up several times in the night and when you do, that thing is on your mind. And I want to tell you, the Lord wants to help. But I want to tell you something else. And I, I know I'm a preacher and I know, uh, I know it, it ought to all be spiritual, but every now and then it wouldn't hurt to go to the doctor and say, doc, I've got a problem. I can't sleep. And maybe share some things and let the doctor give you a, some kind of a sleeping aid, something that's safe and something that you can use moderately and, uh, and get your health back and uh, help you to think a little bit straighter. And then, of course, spend some time in the Word of God. Before you go to sleep each night, why not read a few Psalms to yourself? Why not look over your prayer list? And why not just remember to make part of the prayer, Lord, help me to sleep good tonight. And just get involved in letting God work with you. Now, if you need medical, medical help in addition, there's no shame in that. Everybody has, and there are actual medical situations that cause people not to be able to sleep. Sometimes it's pain. So, you know, they, they have a, a broken bone that's healing somewhere. And, and, that, and that just wakes them up through the night every time they move or, or something else, or they get a toothache, or who knows? But let God help you. But don't, don't look away from human help. If you need godly counsel, get that. 
Have someone praying, have, have a prayer partner that's praying for you. And uh, let God work in your life. God said, one of the things he said is that he, he said, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. David, David wrote, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Well, we're going to pray together and be out of here today. We'll be back tomorrow. By the way, tonight, 7 p.m., Brother Shane Rogers is preaching at North Harrison Baptist Church. I hope you'll plan to be there. That's going to be a good meeting, and I believe God will bless it in a wonderful way. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that we have the opportunity to lay down and sleep and, and uh, get that rest and refreshment that we need for our bodies to become re-energized and recharged. And uh, Lord, I pray you give us wisdom how to be pleasing to you throughout the day and throughout our work and how to get things done in a, in a good fashion. And uh, Lord, I pray that you will just use us for your honor and glory. And we give you the praise and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. When I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace, and when he takes him by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, glorious day that will be.